where we make over different spaces. Today, we are going to make over a guest bedroom. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you'll get notified about my future videos. First, let's talk about the room. It is a small guest bedroom with blank and empty walls. The walls are printed in ash white color. I love the size of the window in this room because it's made the room brighter and more warm. And I have, the plan is to make this room more like welcoming and cozy for the guests to come in. My plan for this room is really very simple. I'm gonna keep the existing bed at the existing place where it is right now and on the wall in front of the bed I'm gonna paint a mural and for the colors of mural I'm gonna keep it like very earthy tones and for the colors of the mural I also done a poll on my Instagram account if you are not following me on my Instagram, go check it out. I post pictures of projects and many things over there. Continuing with the plan, I'm going to change the curtains to some net curtains so emit more light and make the space more brighter and cozier. In front of the mural wall, I'm going to place a chair with a rug underneath and some cushion and a basket with a throw blanket so cozy to make the space more cozier. And I'm also going to add some plants to the room to make it like more welcoming. So the first thing which we are going to do in this room is obviously the painting. And for painting, I picked up four quarters of different colors. The first one is a terracotta color. The second one is cameo. Third one is tea rose color. And the fourth one is jade color. Jade is like a tur turquoise color, which is like a accent color of the room which gives like a focal point to the room other than that jade color all those colors all those paints are very earthy tones which give a calm feeling to the room and make it more relaxing for the guests who are traveling here to start the mural first i draw the pattern of the mural using a pencil on the wall for any circle i use a nail with a yarn and on the other end of the yarn i tie a pencil and draw the circle putting nail in the center of the circle to paint the mural i don't use any sort of masking tape or painter's tape because i want a free hand look i just draw the line using a pencil a straight line and then use the brush to straighten the edges. For creating the variety of color, I also use lavender white color which I used in my previous project of my room makeover. You can check the video, the link is in the eye button above. I use that color to like make the shade a little bit lighter to paint on. the mural wall I went to the local auction shop and from there I bought this chair it has the wood tone similar to the bed I have in the room and the cushion is of grayish blue color which doesn't go with the theme of the mural so I just buy a dress from the thrift store and just a pre poster the chair to reupholster this chair, I use that dress. It's in blush pink color which goes with the theme of the room. I just cut the upper part of that dress, the sleeves part, and then 
I cut the dress from the center to make it one piece, one piece of fabric. And then I put the fabric on the chair, cut the corners accordingly, and then set the fabric on the chair. Then I use a hammer and some nails to fix the fabric at place. I also thrifted a cushion for this makeover. I just used an old t-shirt of mine, cut the sleeves part and then do the corners and put the filling in and do the other corner. And that's it, a simple cushion, a quick DIY. I also did three wall decor DIY for this room makeover in my previous video. Go check out that video. The link is in the i button above. They are very easy and very cheap DIYs and it makes the room very very beautiful and warm. I also did a little shopping for this room makeover. I bought this bed sheet from Kohenu Textile Mill. They are like really cheap and amazing bed sheet. They are of export quality and you get it in really good price. I also bought some plants. These are from the local nursery nearby my house. And I don't remember the name. The person over there tell me the names but I don't remember it's some kind of palm and this one is also a palm but I don't remember the full name I'm, I'm bad with names these are the curtains which I'm gonna hang I also have many of these rattan baskets in my house I'm gonna use one or two of those in this room makeover and I found this rug in our local Sunday market in our Sunday market and it's very cozy and shaggy and I washed it because of Corona and all that. Now it's my most favorite time of a makeover, yes! When we have to put each and everything at its place. The final catch time! Close my eyes and imagine how it looked before. Wait, wait, wait. I'll show you. Three, two, one.
amazing and exactly how I want it. It get the cozy factor and the warm welcoming factor. It's amazing and bright, which I love about this room. Comment down below what you love about this room and what you want in future. And stay tuned, do subscribe to my channel because there's an amazing room decor coming soon which I have done in Karachi. I got the project over there and it's amazing. It's very bohemian, like out of my style. Bohemian is not my style and it's very, very, very bohemian. And it turned out amazing. So stay tuned for that DIY. Do subscribe to my channel and do turn on the notification button. Stay tuned. Bye.